babies, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat, and today is Sunday, Renew Your Spirit Day. And by doing this, I'm going to help you have peace in your life, control in your home, and learn how to finally love yourself. Renewing your spirit is part of those things. And so by following this entire system, that's what you're going to have. So today is Sunday. Now, it may not be your Sabbath. Different faiths have different days, but this would be the day of Sabbath, okay? So this is Renew Your Spirit Day. Whichever day yours is, use this video. All right, so this is the day you're going to get up before your children with your morning routine and do your morning routine, about 30 minutes. Once you're done with that, you're going to put your children through their morning routine. And then after that, if there's anything else that needs to be done, like taking care of animals, or a garden or whatever, this is the time to do it. So make sure you've allowed yourself that um, 30 minutes for yourself, 30 minutes for your kids, and 30 minutes or whatever it takes for your animals. And then that, that makes you know in advance what time to plan, keyword, to get up in the morning to take care of everything so that you're ready before the children. Okay, next, um, you're going to, because this is not a three layer cake day, there is no zone today. And so we have our routines, which we've already done, the morning routine. We're not gonna do laundry today or paper routine today. So those two are out. What's left is your after dinner routine and your before bed routine. So after you go and renew your spirit in whatever way that is, uh, for me it would be getting up, getting dressed and going to church. And then afterwards, a nice meal. Jet is usually just Larry and I, but sometimes it's with the family. Or on the weeks that I'm with my parents, we stay home. Communion is brought in to us um, because they don't go out to church. It's too hard. And then um, we have a nice dinner. So whatever it is for you, but then a nice dinner. And just really relax in this day. This is a day to really refresh and renew, reflect on what you might have heard this morning, and really take care of your spirit. Um, it's also the day to get out that planner and plan out your week. I know we have a planning and desk day, but this is the day I want you to really plan out your week. Remember the difference I talked to you before about being aware versus being focused? So being aware is knowing that your week is a mess or that you really want to do certain things. Being focused says, I will do these things in this order and staying on task. So get out your journal, your calendar, whatever it is that you use. I recommend personally a journal, a good journal, and make sure I put in the meals for the week, all in there. Uh, what days I do what on. So Monday is Weekly Home Blessing Day. Tuesday is Pampering Day. It's a free day. Wednesday is Desk and Planning Day or Planning and Desk Day. Thursday is errand day, that includes groceries. Friday is car and purse day. Saturday is family day. And Sunday is renew my spirit. Okay, so that gets written down every single day as a heading for the day. Every day we know we're doing routines, so if you need to be reminded so that you can be focused when you look at your book, put your routines in, morning routine, paper, laundry, after dinner, before bed. Put your routines in there. Next is the zone. Now next week, starting Monday, we're going to be in zone five. Zone five is the living room. So we're gonna be in the living room uh, all next week. Either 15 minutes of decluttering in there every day if there's still clutter. So if there is, put 15 minutes. You know the little for minutes? 15 minutes, DC, declutter. And don't forget, Throw away, put away, give away. So T, P, G, throw away, put away, give away is after you've done that for 15 minutes. And that means to physically throw away the trash, to physically put the give away in the back of the car, to physically put away everything else. If there's no place to put it, put it in the room that it goes in, and the next time you get to that room, let's say that, that you did that last week in the living room with some place something needed to go, but there was no room, focus on decluttering in that area so you can put it away, okay? So P, G, T, under the zone five, okay? And you're gonna do that on Monday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We don't do it on Tuesday. That's our free day. Okay, what's the next thing we're going to do? So you don't have on your on your um, Saturday or Sunday, you don't have anything there yet other than your routines. And the Saturday routine is just is the morning routine, the possibly laundry. Hopefully you get your laundry done during the week. But if L for laundry or write laundry uh, and paper, that's Saturday before dinner. I mean, dinner and before bed routine. Um, there is... The, the thing that we're going to do for fun is our family fun day, so that's going to go on Saturday. Then when you go to Sunday, it's going to be just like today. You just have the morning routine, after dinner routine, evening routine. Put down their planner, because you're going to work on your planner, and uh, renew your spirit. And you've got your meals. Okay, so that's it. That's your plan for the week. And when you watch the daily with me, I'm going to be going over those things every day. If you work outside the home... Yours is going to be the same, but a little bit different. And I talk about it every single day. Either you're going to be able to do those things at night when you come home while supper is simmering. That's my recommendation. So your Saturday and Sunday is free. Or you can choose a different route and you can do it on Saturday. If that's the case, write it down. On Saturday, more than likely, it's going to be your errand day. It's going to, which is groceries and any other errands if you haven't done them during the week. It's going to be your zone five, and it's going to be your weekly home blessing hour. If you haven't arranged to get that done or delegated that during the week. So remember that. All right, so what else can we look at this day? Let's look and see, do we have any special things happening this week? Did somebody need to get a birthday card sent to them this week? Um, is it someone's anniversary? Do you have a special appointment you need to dress for in a different way? Do you have a doctor's appointment? Have you had your blood work done? Let's schedule that all in to make sure everything's done in a timely manner. And look ahead a week. What else do you have in there? What else do we need to be aware of this week? Like if somebody's birthday is on Monday, you want to know about that this week, right? If you want to send a card or be wishing them a happy birthday or worse yet, giving them a birthday party, we kind of need to know that in advance. So jog your memory by looking forward. Okay, um, that's it for the planner. I want you to look at that planner every single night as part of your before bed routine. Take it out and look at tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow we're having a roast. I better take that out tonight and put it in the refrigerator. Or we're having a roast tomorrow. That thing takes two days to thaw in the refrigerator. Let me take it out tonight. And, and so it'll be ready in two days or whatever. So get it ready. Or we're having crock pot. Let me not forget. Let me put the crock pot out so I don't forget to put everything in it in the morning. And I hate to leave all those prepped vegetables and meat in the fridge and totally forget about it and come home and have to make dinner when, when I knew we needed the crock pot because Jimmy has a ball game, right? Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you remember all day long that you are beautiful. Bye.